Hello and welcome to the chord lesson for the song Ambar Sarya. Uh, let me first show you the chords that you'll need to know for the song, then I'll explain the strumming pattern in detail, and then we play along with the backing track. So the song is in E minor, and I'll be showing you both open chords and bar chords. So if you're playing open chords, you would need to know E minor here, you would need to know D major, you would need to know A minor, you would also need to know B minor, which you could play here with just the first four strings. If you can play a bar chord, that would be great. You also need to know B7th, which you could play over here. If you find this difficult to play, you could play it over here. I'm playing all of the first five strings. If you want, you can mute the first string and just play strings 5, 4, 3 and 2. This is B7. You would also need to know three major 7th chords. Uh, G major 7th, which can be played here. D major 7th over here and A major 7th which will be playing over here. Uh, if you're not able to play these major 7th chords, you could substitute them with the regular major chords, but it would be nice if you could play them. If you're playing bar chords, you would be playing them over here. E minor, D major, A minor, B minor, B7, uh, A major 7th stays where it was. Uh, D major 7 you could continue to play here or you could play it over here as well and G major 7 will be playing here you could play it here as well so now let's check out the strumming pattern this is really a 16 beat pattern which I've shown before in other lessons as well uh, I'll show you all of the 16 beats in a moment but let's try and keep it very simple initially um, this is how it sounds in the track and I'm going to play it very slowly and then I'll count out the strokes for you so down up down up down 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 and if you can get your timing right that would be great if not, let me try and show you how you can learn the 16 beat pattern. Uh, first, we're going to try and play the 16 strokes down and up, uh, 8 strokes down and up alternating without putting stress on any of the strokes. So let's say you're playing E minor, it would be something like this. I just played 16 strokes, 8 down and 8 up alternating. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put more stress on stroke one, which is a down stroke. So let's see how it sounds. If you got that right, and the next step, what we're going to do is we're going to add stress to another stroke, which is the fourth stroke, which is an up stroke. So it should be something like this. Uh, try playing along with me. In the next uh, step, we're going to put stress on stroke 7 as well, which is a down stroke. So I'm going to call out the numbers once again. 1, 4, 7. 1, 4, 7. In the next step, we're going to put more stress on stroke 10 as well. So it will be 1, 4, 7 and 10. So 1, 4, 7, 10. 1, Then we're going to put more stress on strokes uh, 13 and 15 as well. So 1, 4, 7, 10, 13 and 15. So 1, 4, 7, 10, 30, 15. 1, 4, 7, 10, 30, 15. And if we increase the speed of our uh, pattern right now, you will see it will come close to the original. So.
if you can play this way uh, all of the 16 strokes your overall strumming will improve a lot and you'll be able to play other songs also equally better because one of the fundamental rules in strumming guitar is to be able to make you make sure that your right hand moves down and up continuously that uh, that can really help you in a lot of in mastering a lot of other patterns now before we go on to play along with the track there is uh, one more thing which you need to know in this song uh, the pattern which we uh, saw in the beginning, so that was those are the six strokes. I'm going to call these six strokes out just to keep it simple instead of calling them as 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 15. Um, uh, of these six strokes, uh, throughout the song, pretty much the chord uh, the chords keep changing in the middle of that pattern. So it's not like you're going to play that's like the E minor on all of those strokes. So what happens in the song is that when you're switching from E minor to D, you're going to switch it in the middle of this pattern. Let me show you how it sounds like and then I'll play it for you very slowly. Once again. So that requires some fast changing where you can see that the first two strokes, down and up, I'm playing on E minor and the other four strokes, on D minor. Similarly, when in the song it moves from A minor to B minor, it moves like this. Once again. So if you play this entire pattern uh, from E minor to D to A minor to B minor, it will sound like this. Uh, in the song, there are two pat two progressions which have been used. Uh, most of the time, one is the movement from E minor to D to A minor to B minor, but they've also used E minor to D to A minor to B7, which you could play here or you could play over here. So it will sound like this. And if you're playing bar chords, you can add muting effects. It sounds something like this. <laughs> 